In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make this uh, beautiful stitch by alternating V puff stitch with double crochet. So let's begin. To begin, you'll need uh, a foundation chain. Is the foundation chain a multiple of eight stitches plus one, beginning with the third stitch from the hook. Make a double crochet and continue making the one double crochet in the next five stitches also. So you'll have six double crochet and the beginning chain doesn't counting as a, as a double crochet. So I just finished my six double crochet. Now skip the next stitch and in the next one make three double crochet together. So now we will making our uh, first V puff stitch. So three double crochet together, yarn over. Now make a, a chain stitch, chain one, and then in the same stitch make another three double crochet together. Yarn over and pull the yarn through the four, four loops. Skip the next stitch and in the next five stitches make one double crochet in each. So you will have five double crochet. Okay, I have one more. Now skip the next stitch and in the next one, three double crochet together. Then you'll have to chain one and repeat the three double crochet together in the same stitch. And from now on, you'll have to repeat this section. So skip one, five double crochet in the next five stitches skip one again and then in the next stitch the whip off stitch and repeat the section to the end of the row you will end the row with six double crochet i am at the end of the row <clears throat> i finished the row with six double crochet and now to begin the second row chain two and turn Remember that this chain doesn't count as a stitch, so beginning with the first stitch from your hook, make one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row. So you'll have six double crochet. I just made my uh, last double crochet. Now in the chain one space from the previous row, make three double crochet together. So in this space, we will make our V puff stitch. Chain one, and again in the same space, three double crochet together. And we will repeat this to the end of the row. So one double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row 
and in the uh, chain one space from the previous row between the two puff stitches we will make the V puff stitch and we will repeat this row for three more rows so we will have five rows in total so I am at the ending of the row 5, now it's time to uh, change the color if you want, looks better if you change uh, the color and you use uh, different colors. Now we will change the position for the main stitch of, uh, of this, uh, this stitch. So we will begin the row with two, two double crochet in the first two stitches, then skip one. And in the next stitch, we will make the V puff stitch. So three double crochet together, chain one, and in the same stitch, again three double crochet together. Skip the next stitch and beginning with the next one make uh, five double crochet so in the next five stitches five double crochet and we will repeat this to the end of the row so five double crochet skip the next stitch v puff stitch in the next one skip one stitch again then again five double crochet and we will repeat this row for another four rows so we will have in total ten rows five rows with uh, the first position of the main motif of this stitch and five rows with the second position now i'm ending the row six and you'll end this row with two double crochet in the last two stitches and as i said just repeat this row for another four rows chain two and turn begin with two double crochet and then in the chain one space from the previous row make the v puff stitch chain one and another set of three double crochet together then you'll have to make one double crochet in the next five stitches this is how it looks after I made uh, another four rows it looks better if you alternate it uh, with another color it's more evident the motif of this stitch this stitch is reversible looks uh, great on the other side too this is my piece with uh, two colors so make it as you wish and as you like 